Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Frags of Beer Gaming. Ooh, the game's not coming up. One second. Make sure it picks it up. There we go. So, welcome to Frags of Beer. First look, this is a live show where I get keys for games, which I got from the developers. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to take my headset off. I uh, actually muted the game music because I can't figure out how to yet anyway. I can't find a menu, and it is super freaking loud. Um, so I actually turned the volume down and uh, muted it anyway for the intro so you guys could hear me talk. But man, it's just blasting in my ears. Um, anyway, this is a first look at a game called Maritime. I did get the key from the developers recently after running the uh, press release on fragsandbeer.com. Uh, it's a Maritime um, story. I'm not exactly sure what type of game it is. I heard somebody say it was roguelite, but it seems like a weird way to do a roguelite game. Um on a ship but we'll see this is an early if you can see this is a small demo tutorial designed to showcase basic features of the game be gentle blah blah could have bugs this is an early early demo tutorial i don't know how long it's going to be so i don't know how long the stream is going to be um it comes to you from tiamat games uh and i believe it's scheduled to launch later this year uh as far as its full release um so anyway we're going to take a look at this uh be sure to Drop a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know you're here if you're watching the live stream. I love talking to you guys. Ask me questions. Uh, check out the links to all of my content below, as well as the merch store where you can get your own hats and shirts for the Frags and Beer Network, uh, and thebeardstruggle.com where you can save 15% using my code BEARDWIZARD99. Those things help keep the channels ad-free so you guys don't see the stupid commercials interrupting everything, hopefully. Uh, but also keeps the, the stupid Google ads and whatnot off of Frags and Beer Network and FragsandBeer.com. So anyway, we're going to get started. Hopefully, the first thing I'm going to look for anyway is a menu um, to hopefully turn down that volume. So we'll see what I can find, uh, but let's get this rocket and rolling, huh? So it looks like it generates, man, uh, procedurally generates the world, maybe? Let's see. I don't know. Okay, so here's, ah, uh, good. Game menu. Main, no. Ah, damn. Well, we'll see. If I can't turn it down, I'm going to have to turn my, my headset volume down. All right, click to start. Is there no... There's like no uh, game menu to turn the volume down. Ah, boom, right freaking there. All right, we're gonna turn the volume down. I'm gonna go adjust the, the stream volume up just a smidge. Man, that's loud. Okay, all right, so basic controls. Hover over task text to get more information. Um, so that tells you, I guess, what you can do next. Uh, rotate the camera. You can rotate the camera with the right mouse button held and slide it uh, with left mouse button held. Okay. So rotate, slide. Okay. You know, looking at the ship, it's actually not too bad. It, it almost looks like um, looking at sort of a scale model of the ship. Can you zoom? Zoom with the mouse wheel? Yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. We got people. People doing nothing. Hanging out on the ship. Just kind of... Just kind of wandering around. Do we have a captain? I don't know. Maybe. You can see in the windows. Hey, that's that's actually kind of cool. So we can... I wonder how, how close can we get. That's about as close as we can get. Everybody's just kind of sitting around doing nothing. All right, try the game speed controls. What does this mean? Adjust the speed with the plus or minus hotkey or speed control button next to the UI. Um, inside camera mode. Huh. Okay. 
Uh, so I don't know. I'm going to use the plus or minus key. Um, oh, it's shift. Okay, that didn't work. Ah, there we go. I had to use the other plus and minus key, I guess, not the ones on my actual on my keyboard here. All right, what else we got? Open the crew menu. Click the crew button on the left panel or use the C hotkey. So there's my crew menu. Open my crew menu. All right. Open sailor view. Click on any sailor portrait to open his info. Take your time to learn what features describe the sailor. Okay, so Anthony Robinson. All right. He is agile. And he's smart, so he's not much of a fighter. Um, no critical failures while setting sails and plus one to seamanship. So he's a better deckhand than he is a rigger, I think. Filter sailors by skill. Press the skill icon next to the group title skill. Anchor, scroll, crafting tools. Each sailor has a number of skills. Fighting, prowess, seamanship, blah, blah, blah. Each works place has a key skill required to operate it. When sailor's skill is low, he can fail tasks, resulting in injuries or even death. All right, so we need to filter sailors. All right, so. Assign riggers to sail duties. Okay, so ship control, four sail, and mainsail, key skill, seamanship. Each group has a number of workplaces in it. And drag say each workplace used to perform. Okay, so we need to assign these guys to the sail. I'm not going to assign all my best guys to the sail, though, because I've got ship's controls, too. Uh, and fishing, which requires. So I think what I'm going to do is um, do this. And we're gonna put him on the main sail and we're gonna put him on the four sail low. And we got to assign a helmsman. Okay, assigned riggers to sail duty. Is there more than one sail? What? Ships control mainsail key. So you can drag sailors directly into auto sign a button each one. Assigned riggers to sail duty. I have assigned riggers to the sail duty. Is it because I assigned one that's not... A good seaman. I don't understand what we're waiting on now. So eight it wants three more. Four in mainsail. Ship control. Oh, it wants me to go ahead and assign them to ship control. Alright, so we're going to sign um this guy to the anchor and this guy to fishing. I actually want to take this guy here and this guy here. They don't have a lot of skill. All right. Assign sailors to anchor duties. Oh, you know what I should be? No, because these are these are the last ones. Okay, raise the anchor. Should I assign the others? Who'd be good at the galley? This guy. Who'd be good at carpentry? Well, this guy. And now we just kind of, I guess, sort our deckhands. However. Like so. All right, raise anchor. Assign an order. You can change the state of the anchor by clicking left panel button or capstan object on the ship. Uh, anchor control. Can we close this? 
I guess cause, okay, anchor control. You can drop or raise anchor. All right, let's raise anchor. Oh, we already did it. All right. Oh, he failed his task. Oh, that's interesting. Good job, Patrick. All right, raise sails. In order to raise or lower sails, you need to click on its model. <clears throat> sails are a main engine of your ship movement. Keep in mind that sails react to the wind and with opposing wind, blah, blah, blah. You can get more information. So, raise sails or lower sails? Hoist main sail. Wait for sailors to hoist sails. And steer the ship using the A and D keys. We can steer the ship. Okay. We're starting to get there. Front sail down. Ooh. Four sail. Hoist the top sails. They actually had to climb out there and untie those some bitches. Oof. Alright, now we're moving. Open the galley window. Make a soup. Alright, so we're sailing around now. Oh, uh, where's the ga galley window? Let's make a soup. Okay, make. how do we make a soup? Orders? Cook fish soup. Okay. Make dried fish. Dried fish. How do we make dried fish? Ah, there we go. Dry fish. Open the rations view. Where's the rations view? There we go, rations view. Set meals for sailors. Okay. Biscuit, dried fish, fish soup, water, rum. Boom. Okay. Open the in of. Are, have we stopped moving? Or is it just because there's nothing in sight for me to, like, see? No, we've stopped moving. Weird. Okay, open the innovations plan. Alright, innovations plan. Start developing any innovation you like. Finish making your innovation. All right. Uh, critical failure. Uh, fast acceleration. Let's start that one. Developing fast acceleration. It's a lot of, like, ship management stuff going on here. Did we accidentally drop the anchor? No. Okay, so these guys are fishing. Oh, you can actually see the guy on the wheel turning it. Okay, some guys are just waiting around for things to do. Aren't you supposed to be like cleaning the deck or just doing something? So we're not actually moving. Um, Time of day. Why aren't we moving?
foresight. I have no idea why we're not moving. Oh, I guess they went into E. That's why they're getting the points back. I my guess here. Ah. Huh. So empty casks, drying rack. I don't understand why we're not moving though. Wind displays the efficiency of ship sails setting under wind current 30 knots to our remaining northeast. Ship speed zero knots. We're anchored. All right, raise anchor. We're not even moving. We're still anchored. Okay, that's really weird. Why are we anchored? Is it because we're moving into night shift, maybe? I don't know. island over there with some rocks around it so it's certainly not sea of thieves when it comes to you know like perspective obviously you know this is more of a um, simulation uh, resource management game I guess we just gotta wait for this innovation to finish, is, is my guess. I'm not really certain what's going on here, but we will find out. That innovation should be done soonish, yeah. Almost there. say over him steering wheel controlled failed task you can't you can steer the ship with AUD Richard Walter apparently not very good at steering all these guys are sort of failing at their jobs now my night crew apparently not the best okay now I can raise the anchor was it because, oh, wait, why? Oh, lunch break. The anchor was dropped during the lunch break so that they could all eat. Okay, start developing advanced perception innovation. Oh, we're moving along pretty quick now. Looks like we're clipping along pretty good. Or we can, if you want to skip sailing part, you can immediately teleport to the desired destination. Demo of feature only. All right, let's, let's move it along here. All right, so my next innovation, advanced perception. Where is advanced perception? Advanced Logistics, Advanced Perception. Open Expedition tab in the Crew View. Crew View, Expedition tab. Assign Fighters. All right, who's the best fighters? Well, clearly he is. We're gonna assign some, we need some gatherers. Assign some gatherers. 
I could be sailing into uh, who knows what and not even know it. Uh, assign items to the sailors. Okay, how do I do that? Click on the plus icon next to the group name and filter the button in order to add the item. Okay, oh, here we go. Axe, musket. Axe and armor. And for these guys, we want backpacks and axes. Yeah. Ship's hands want muskets and armor. Uh, let's assign some guys to guard the ship. And let's go ahead and assign stewards. I don't know what these guys do, but that's what they're that's what they're gonna do. And we have a oh good lord, we have a combat thing too. Okay, wait for advanced perception to unlock. Where is okay? Advanced perception about halfway there. Open the map, reach the secluded bay. I feel like I don't have enough people to do everything, um, unless each of the crew tabs like see. So you've got this combat tab too uh, for your cannons, then your repair guys. So I need guys on cannons. Oh, before I do that, let's assign repair guys. Okay, so when we're in combat, this is, um, man, you have got a lot of things to do. Oh, left side cannon, right side cannon. Oh, boy. So, you're going to have shooter, shooter, shooter. Uh huh. I think we're going to put. Oh, he's not very good at that. I mean, what else can I do, really, you know? See, I don't have enough people to do all the things, you know? Zero knots. So current southeast. So like you have to know which way the wind's blowing, obviously. To catch the wind. So it doesn't look like they automatically adjust the sails at all. You just gotta know which way the wind's blowing. And I don't even know if the ship is turning at this point. Well, I guess it is. It's, well, no, it's not. Not anymore. Alright, well, we're dropping anchor for lunch anyway. <clears throat> okay, advanced perception. Alright. Click button on the left bar or use the M hotkey. 
So open the map. Reach the secluded bay. Where is the secluded bay? Here. Okay. Can you mark it? Can we set a course? No, it's... But it's... South... E east? Southeast. Okay. So I need to go east. As soon as we can raise anchor after the meal... Let's see what happens. We'll head east. Not so. I'm not sure about this game yet. It's definitely more of a sit back kind of. I don't know. Like we haven't gotten into anything, any combat or anything yet. So I don't know how that's going to be. But I find in games like this that if the AI, unless the AI is is like really smart. Um, games like this can be tricky because um, orders make uh, fish soup as much as you can Let's dry some fish, I guess. Okay, so why won't that go? Is it because we don't have enough of something? Is it not telling us that? Huh, interesting. What do we need for fish soup that we don't have? Do we need salted fish? That might be it. We must need salted fish maybe for the fish soup, but it doesn't really give us... Um, um, recipes that I could see anyway. So our rations... They're not, they're not happy with the rations, I don't think. There's not a lot of love for the rations. Alright. Did we not raise the anchor? Anchor. Raise anchor. Are they working on it? Where is the capstan anyway? Well, can we can we possibly raise the anchor? boys how do we raise the anchor I may just use the teleport function because now the anchor won't raise I thought it raised automatically okay now it's okay now it's up and we're still not moving at all and I don't know how to make us move um, wait are we turning we're slowly turning okay I'd really like to sail her there if I can so if we can turn her and get her headed in the right direction east southeast that would be ideal she stopped moving again. Damn it. Alright, we're just going to try to teleport to the bay. Alright, are we anchored? Yes, we're anchored. Okay, start the expedition by clicking the button on the top. Start quest. 
Okay. The foresight calmly heaves on the waves in the middle of a picturesque bay. Behind them, the underwater rocks glisten like knives in the sun. The ship is damaged. Supplies are running low. It is just a matter of mooring to unknown shores and hoping for the best. Give the command to disembark. Investigate the island with a spyglass. Let's investigate the island with a spyglass. Um, on three sides, the bay is surrounded by dense thickets, separated from the sea by a narrow strip of beach. On the south side, the exit from the bay is guarded by reefs. Given the state of the ship, it's not even worth going near them. Such a harbor, your flagship is reliably protected from the storm. On the sandy beach just north of the ship, you can see a colony of large tortoises basking in the sun. They look like easy prey. Take a closer look at the island. Thus, neither the size of the island nor its shape can be accurate. It remains only to lower the boat and try your luck on the land. All right, the boat slowly approaches the sun-drenched beach. Your people, unused to the solid ground under their feet, step a little clumsily, but with evident pleasure on the warm sand. If it wouldn't for the mission, you could stay here forever, but the lack of supply, blah, 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 dense thickets around the beach from all directions. Okay. Take a look around. All right, so this is going to be more of a point-and-click adventure at this point. Where we're trying to find gold on the island, sail to the highlighted island. The tutorial's basically over by now, so you can skip this step and just exit the game. So this is it. This is the extent of the thing. So what is this? Click here. Okay, you see two sailors crucified on the beach near the trees. The poor devils have been dead for quite some time. But it's unclear who tied them up and left them there. After all, it seems like the island was uninhabited. Send the most experienced. It's enough to send a novice. Let him look at it pitifully, but it looks like we are on a hostile island. We need to move on. All right, let's send a novice to go look. Sailor, carefully, a sudden hunch hits you, and you're about to shout, but it's... Don't do it, but a few rough-hewn stakes plunge into the sailor's body, and he falls dead. Okay. <laughs> that's that's the response I get. Okay. Okay. Uh, Secluded Bay is crowned by a small cape. The moored... I guess I can click on these things. Uh, covering rugged uh, set camp hunt turtles. Let's hunt turtles. See this sand full of traces of sea turtles in the end. Blah, blah, blah. Send sailors to hunt turtles. Gain 21 meat. Okay. Set camp. You give the command to make camp. Blah, blah, blah. Time to decide what to do next. Feed the sailors. You have zero fruit, zero and 21 meat. Zero in ration. Set ration. Confirm ration. Move on. Sleep. Sleep. You assign sailors to watch and give the command. Fatigue is fully recovered. All right. Break camp. Enough wasting time. You give command to pack up things ready to depart. Let's go here. Foresight moored on the bay is perfectly visible. Each of the sailors cast at least one glance at the ship. Um, hunt turtles. Send sailors to hunt turtles. We got 21 meat. Okay. Uh, let's go here. Oh, wow. This just goes on and on. South, use a craggy knob on the cape projecting from blah, 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 blah. Let's go check it out. The devil made you go and look at this cape up close. This place is unkind. The rocks, the grayness, looking out at the ocean, you stumble over a protruding rock and almost fall, dropping the compass you were holding in your hand. Mine iron. You see 100 iron. Gather carefully. Gather, squeeze out the sailors. Gather carefully. Mine iron. Gather carefully. Mine iron. Gather carefully. Mine iron. Ah. 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 Uh-huh. 
One of the sailors was making his way through the tall grass. He swore loudly, and the men barely to catch him from falling. You immediately understand what happened. As you looked around, you noticed that the culprit of the attack was crawling back into the thicket, glistening with scales. Uh, make a halt immediately. Provide the victim with all... Without hesitation, you settle down for a rest. The other sailors look at you with respect. Care for the wounded is essential trait of a good commander. Okay. And we're back here. South of you is a crate. So I have no indication of time of day. Crew spirits. Morale is good. Um... Let's go look here. Okay. One of the sailors decides to take a swim without asking your permission. The latest load on the sand threw off his clothes and went into the sea. Don't you... Wait. Went into the sea from here? We're in the middle of the island. Let's go ahead and stop and rest. Uh, feed sailors. Set ration. How do I set rations? Add meat to ration. There we go. Confirm ration. Eat ration. Uh, feed the sailors. Set ration. We don't have enough. Move on. Sleep. We need more food. That's what it is. That's why I couldn't set a ration because I didn't have enough food. Break camp. We need to find food. Sailor's so recently bitten by a snake is fully recovered. You're compared to a big Okay. Should we go into the interior? One of the sailors was making his way through the tall grass for the... Alright, okay. Finally you managed to see one of the thousands of birds constantly shouting, gather fruits. Definitely climbing the lower branch of the team is already licking their lips. Look at fruits. Appearance of fruits is often deceptive. Maybe you should carefully study the... Uh, to... No, I want... Oh, it's not going to let me investigate. We're all going to die. Oh, God. This is where we're going to lose everybody because... Wonderful. Break camp. Oh, no, break camp. Okay, so we can't go anywhere else. Okay. Empty beach. Keep going. Ah, make a halt immediately. Okay. They keep getting bit by snakes. Looking at the sandy beach. Hunt turtles, get more food. Sent sailors to hunt turtles. Okay. What is it? Oh, time. Ah, so there's our time indicator. It's not not readily like apparent that that's what that is. Uh, when you make up from your sleep and talk to your Fighters, you get good news. A sailor is bitten by the snake sometime. Okay. Uh, chop trees. You see 50 trees. Gather carefully. Chop trees. Gather carefully. Chop trees. Gather carefully. Set camp. Feed sailors. Set ration. Add fruits. Add meat. Confirm ration. 
Eat ration. There we go. So we get more... The more food we have, the more rations we have, the better we take care of them, obviously. Uh, break camp. Let's go this way. And this way. Alright, make a halt. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and hunt turtles while we're here. Because we need the meat. Uh, one of the sailors gets bit by a snake again. Okay. Uh, okay. You wake up from you. Okay. Gather fruits. Collect all the fruits. Gather carefully. Gather fruits. All the fruits. Carefully. Gather fruits. All the fruits. Gather carefully. <laughs> okay, so the I'm not digging the this part of it really. It's a little bit monotonous, um, and it's not as intuitive as one might think. Need to ration. Confirm ration. Eat ration. And then we'll sleep. Sleep. Alright, break camp. Alright, let's go up here. To the north, the lone peak is visible. Uh, explore the Noria. You had a hinch. You had a strong hinch, not hunch, hinch. But there's a path leading to a hidden place. You give a command after a scout returns with great news. We've discovered a new location. Let's go check it out. All right, the mysterious lone mountain does not give you any opportunity to avoid it. Become uh, inside the okay, walking along the slopes of the mountain, um, scour the area for a long time. Only the quiet comes. Blah, blah, blah. After a half hour of useless searching, you hear a long howl. One of the search groups is calling for help. Urgently run to the sound. One of the search groups caught in the deep trap. No time for sailors. Forward to the aisle. Uh, the lives of the sailors are above all else. Uh, there must be an entrance. All right, so we found an entrance with some torches, like the torches. Take everything. Why not? Oh, we get attacked. Alert. Fire of Ali. Sailors shoot, killing 12 natives. The smoke from the muskets clears, and you see the bodies of the slain enemies. Wait, let them get closer. Shoot the pistols and go into melee. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Spurred by the thirst for blood, rush to your formation. Sailors fight in melee combat, killing 31 natives. The noise of the battle and the clang of steel. But it looks like the enemy has faltered under our onslaught. We've won. Okay. Okay. What did we gather, though? We found the gold. Okay, so the next thing is to return to the ship. Alright, halt. Okay. Let's set camp. Let's feed the sailors. Add fruits. Add fruits. Confirm. Eat ration. Sleep. Break camp. Okay. What is this? This is how tired they are. So, okay, they need to sleep. And we need to eat. Nope. Frack.
Ah, one of the sailors gets bit by a snake. One of the sailors gets bit by a snake. Okay. Okay. And you see the ship. Return to the ship. Yes, end the expedition. We're back on the ship. And that's pretty much it. The tutorial is basically over now, so you can skip this step and just exit the game. So, that's Maritime Calling. Um, I'm not huge on a lot of resource management games like this. Um, I like the graphics. Uh, as far as the ship, the ship looks really good. The UI is not bad. Like, the UI looks pretty decent. Um, I, I wish that things were a little bit more intuitive, but the tutorial is pretty decent. So even though it's it's not quite as intuitive on like how to play and, and what to do, the tutorial does walk you through everything. So hopefully they keep that uh, for the main game for those people who are going to need it. Um, the sailing, I didn't do a whole lot of that, So, but it didn't seem to work very well as in like you know our ship was stuck at one point couldn't move uh so we had to teleport to this spot i'm not so big on the sort of choose your own adventure point and click part of the expedition uh, thing i would much rather have seen it done as a um, sort of top-down strategy like select all your sailors have them go to a next spot and more of that now that's that would be incorporating basically two games into one if they were to do something like that but i think it would be a little bit more immersive if um if it was done like that if it was done more like a you know like any type of rts game you, know, you exit the ship and have to move your guys around and sort of manage um your group that way because just clicking and selecting text, is, while it's not bad, um, it seems like you've got two completely different games going on here, um, and it's and it's not quite as um, I don't know, it's not quite as catchy. It doesn't doesn't pull you in quite as much as it would um, if you were moving the moving the guys around and and doing that kind of thing. Anyway. Um, cool game though i think people will like this i think there are people out there that will really enjoy a game like this uh, didn't get to see any ship combat so i have no idea how that works uh obviously we can't you know this is just the early demo uh so that may be something that they're still working on to try to get that in the game um but overall it, it was interesting it's it was a fun little game um not sure i could see myself personally playing it for more than more than a little bit uh but i could see this being enjoyable for people who like these sort of resource management uh types of games um, when it comes to a ship it's almost like uh managing a, a small city or a small house uh you know sim style on a on a ship basically managing their food and what they do and their jobs and and all of that stuff so anyway give it give it a check Check it out on Steam, uh, Maritime Calling from Ti uh, Tiamat Games. Sorry, almost called it Titanic Games. Um, but yeah, see what you think. Check it out. Uh, might be the game year, next game you're looking for and see when it's coming out. But anyway, I will see you guys again later for more Saturday randomness. Uh, probably tonight I'll figure out what we're going to play. Maybe some Sea of Thieves if I can get the other guys uh on board for that again or maybe we'll throw down with some more valheim we'll see what's going on but anyway you guys have a great one i will see you again soon much love